Hello, magandang araw. This is Teacher Malu and welcome back again to Math Habit. So in this video, pag-aaralan natin yung uh, part 2 ng ating sets. We have here uh, types of set, the basic set notation, and cardinality of the sets. Enjoy watching and happy learning! Okay, so ngayon, i-discuss naman natin ang types of sets. Okay, unahin natin ang empty set o yung mga set na walang laman or which do not have any element, o tinatawag din natin siya as null set. Okay, so it is denoted by this symbol, yung uh, empty na walang laman na curly braces or this one. Okay, yung uh, circle na nakakross out. So, yan yung ating empty set. Okay, and then our number two is the unit set or the singleton set. So, it has only one element. Okay, example, we have set A as an element of moon. At yung number three natin is yung finite set or yung set with finite, finite number of elements or countable sets. Ibig sabihin na bibilang natin yung mga elements na nasa sets na ito. For example, uh, we have set of months in a year. Okay, so since we have 12 months in a year, kaya-kaya pa siyang bilangin. So we have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So kasama pa rin siya sa finite set, set kasi countable pa rin siya. Okay. And yung ating number 4 na set is uh, infinite set or yung set na may mga infinite number of elements o tinatawag din natin na uh, uncountable sets. Ito talaga yung mga set na hindi kayang bilangin. Da, uh, kaya ginagamitan na siya ng ellipsis. Okay, example nito nga is yung a set of whole numbers. So since hindi natin kayang bilangin ang mga whole numbers, so that's why we are using uh, three dots or ibig sabihin is it, it is continuous. Okay, next. A set of integers. Again, so, ang negative and positive integers natin is uncountable. Hindi natin siya nabibilang, kaya kasama siya sa infinite sets. Okay, so we have exercises here. We have to identify kung yung given sets are finite, infinite, empty, or unit set. Okay, yung number one, the set of months with 32 days. Okay, so yung mga months natin from January to December. So, alam naman natin na ang days ay hanggang 31 days lang. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung sets na uh, hindi natin, wala siyang, uh, walang ganong klaseng month. So, ibig sabihin, empty set, empty set siya. Okay, number two, the set of all points on the line. Okay, hindi natin kayang bilangin lahat ng points sa line. So, ibig sabihin, siya ay infinite set. Okay, we have number three, the set of days in a week. So, kayang-kayang bilangin because we only have 7 days in a week. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay? So, ito ay kasama sa finite set. Number 4, the set of squares with 5 sides. Okay? Since, ang square natin ay uh, meron lang 4 na sides. So, ibig sabihin, uh, wala talagang square na may 5 si sides. Kaya, siya ay empty set. And then, our number 5. Set of national trees in the Philippines. Okay, so since isa lang ang national tree natin dito sa Pilipinas, which is Nara, so kasama siya sa unit set. And last number, the set of all numbers divisible by 2. So again, sobrang daming numbers na divisible by 2. So hindi natin kayang bilangin. So kasama siya sa infinite set. Okay, so I hope uh, na-identify na nyo kung an alin yung finite, infinite, empty, or unit set. Okay. Okay, so i-discuss na rin natin yung another important term sa sets. Ito yung tinatawag natin na basic set notation. Okay. We use special notations to indicate whether or not an element belongs to a set. Okay. So, meron tayo dito ang symbol. Ito siya. Yung parang letter E. Okay. Element. Ang ibig sabihin niya, pag nakakita tayo ng ganyan, uh, element is is an element of, ibig sabihin kasama siya sa set. Element siya sa isang set. Pag naman may cross siya, ang magiging basa natin sa kanya is, is not an element of. Okay, let's have example. Okay, we have here set A has an element of 2, 4, 6, and 8. So, kung ititest natin yung 2, okay, paano natin i-denote yung 2? Kung element ba siya or not element. So, since nasa loob siya ng curly braces, yung number 2, therefore, we can denote this as 2 is an element of A. O halimbawa naman, 1. Okay, so, is 1 an element or not an element of A? Siyempre, hindi. Kaya, 
kasi wala siya dun sa loob ng uh, braces. So, hindi siya kasama sa element, kaya i-denote natin siya as 1 is not an element of set A. Okay, another example. We have set B has an element of A, E, I, O, U, or the vowels of the alphabet. Okay, so for example, itest natin yung E. Okay, is it an element or not an element of a set B? Okay, since nasa loob siya uh, ng curly braces, so E is an element of set B. So how about C? Okay, nasa loob ba siya ng set B? So since wala siya dun sa uh, loob ng curly braces ng set B, therefore ang C is not an element of B. Okay, so ganyan kung paano natin i-denote yung kung element ba or not element ba yung tinatanong na uh, term o tinatanong na tinatanong sa ito. Another one, we have here cardinality. Ano ba yung cardinality? Okay, the cardinality of the set is the number of elements contained in that set. Ito yung bilang ng mga elements na nasa loob ng isang set. Okay, halimbawa, we have here set A has an element of 2, 4, 6, and 8. So, ilan yung number ng element na nasa set A? So, meron tayong, the cardinality of set A is 4. May apat na elements sa set A. Another one, so set B has an element of A, I, E, O, U. So, the cardinality of set B is 5 since merong limang uh, letters sa loob ng uh, set B. Okay, so, kung i-denote natin siya symbolically, so, ganito siya. Uh, the number of element in set A is equal to 4. And then, yung set B, the number of element in set B is equal to 5. Okay, so that's all. Ito na. Okay, so that's all for now, students. So I hope natutunan kung paano i-identify ang finite, ang infinite null set, and the unit set. Uh, ganyan din ang basic set notation ng cardinality of the set. Okay. So kung di pa kayo nagla-like and nagsusubscribe sa ating channel, please do like and subscribe para laging updated sa mga latest videos na i-upload natin. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.